chargeback, a little-known term not only for bank customers, but also for the bankers themselves. I had to learn about this term thanks to one wonderful airline. Ernest Airlines license completely cancelled by Italian government, company cancelled its flights on all routes. So, I want to share my own experience of successful chargeback filing, and all the nuances involved in this procedure. Chargeback is a procedure for money refunding at the payer's account, as it turns out, every bank that issues cards of payment systems, Visa, and MasterCard, automatically agrees to many terms from these payment systems. One of which, is the chargeback procedure, which allows you to protect yourself from fraud, from sellers, services, and goods. Its essence lies in the fact, that if the service was not provided to you, or if the goods were not in line with your order were set, you have the right to a full refund of the fraudulent activities, of the supplier of goods, and services. One important nuance is, that the chargeback procedure takes, between 1, and 3 months. My acquaintance to this procedure began in December, 2019, when Ernest Airlines announced the cancellation of all flights. Since, they had their license revoked. Then, it were revoked altogether. So, I had to find the ways, how can I take my money for the tickets back? Then I learned about such a wonderful procedure as chargeback. So now, in stages, I want to tell you how to properly apply for chargeback. It can be divided into four stages. The first step is to make sure that you are entitled to such a procedure. In my case, everything was simple. The airline posted a stop flight announcement on its own website. There have also been reports in the media that the airline will no longer resume its operations and accordingly will not perform any flights. Plus, the important argument was that ENAC, National Agency of the Italian Civil Aviation, initially temporarily revoked the airline's license, then cancelled it altogether. So, I had all the confirmations that saying that the airline would not be able to provide me the service. What you need to know, to make sure, that you have qualify for chargeback. You need to receive the confirmation, that your flight has been cancelled. If you have an email from your airline, that your flight has been cancelled, this should be enough. If you do not receive such a letter, you can use a message from the airline's website, stating that the flights are suspended, if your flight is scheduled to take place exactly at the time, when the airline suspends flights. You can use any source of information, preferably an official one, that's stating, that your flight has been cancelled. The second stage, it is the most important, and the most fun, in my opinion. Now you need to get involved with your bank. The first thing you need to do, call the bank's call center, describe the situation, and say that you want to apply for chargeback. Why is this important? Because at many banks this procedure is different, apart from the fact that banks sometimes do not have that procedure. Sometimes most employees are not even aware of the existence of such a procedure and what it is. So it is possible that you have to call the bank more than once. Maybe. Changing the call center operators will help you find someone who explain you what to do in this situation. As a last resort, you will have to go to a bank branch and don't leave it until you get a positive answer. What you need to do to submit this application. Stage 3. And in fact, the main one. When you know what you need to do to apply for chargeback. You need to prepare the correct, complete set of documents and confirmations, in order for your application to be successfully considered. On my own experience, first and foremost, you need to add your flight booking confirmation, number two, confirmation of your flight cancellation, number three, confirm that the airline refused to refund you. It is more complicated because there are two nuances. The first nuance 
when I tried to communicate with Ernest Airlines. They simply did not respond to any of my requests. How to confirm this? Any. So I wrote in the application, that the airline was not responding to any of my requests. So I can't confirm that they refused me a refund or offered other conditions. Now airlines. Even if they send letters, they often offer, for example, vouchers, ticket freezes, etc. But, under the national law, and European regulations, airlines, also, must offer a full refund, therefore, if you have received a letter of cancellation of your flight, and the airline does not offer you refund, this is already a reason to apply for chargeback. And to add this letter, to the list of documents that you will submit to the bank for the application. Additional evidence, these can be media reports about, flight cancellations, aviation restrictions, and more. Fourth stage. He is the most boring. Because now, after successfully applying to the bank, you have to wait. You will have to wait, as mentioned earlier, from one to three months, on average from my own own experience, and the experience of those who applied for chargeback, personally. For me, the funds were returned within 36 days of the application. Also, an important nuance is that, after applying for a chargeback, you need to receive, number, of this application. What is this for? Not all banks are conscientious, who do their jobs on time and in full. So they need to be forced to work. And when you have an application number, it's easier to you to call the bank's call center and check at what stage your application is under consideration. I am 100 sure that with a similar list of documents you will successfully accept a chargeback application. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments to this video. Also, please share your own communication experience with the airlines and successful or unsuccessful chargeback applications. And last, but very important, if you want to stay up to date with the latest news on this topic, subscribe to this channel. Good luck to you.